Hello, welcome back to another video on my thoughts on the current comic book market. I shot this video early 2020, okay? First week of 2020. Just to date myself in case somebody stumble across this video years from now. One of the things that contribute to a bull market or a bear market in this hobby is the outlier, okay? You heard me talk about outliers often in many of my market report or auction recap over the past five years. You know, outliers are books that are either way too high or way too low compared to GPA, okay? Once again, let me remind you that GPA does not capture everything, so it's only a small piece of the market, but it is what we have, okay? I don't need to be reminded that it doesn't include comic link data or information or sales ad convention. We all know that by now, right? But outliers, as I have discussed many times in the past, are books that are way above GPA or way below GPA, okay? And for the most part, outliers are ignored by savvy buyers and sellers, okay? Because if you have, you know, let's, let's say for example, a book is a uh, 90 day average is $500, okay? And out of nowhere, somebody had a sales of 800 is the next buyer of the next available book in the same grade is gonna pay 800 or more? Depend on how the market situation is, okay? If we don't have any, any kind of big news related to that book, most likely a savvy buyer will look at the data and say that's an outlier and ignore it. And just focus on the 90 day average to bid on the next available copy, right? And the same example can be set on the downside, okay? If a book is, you know, a couple hundred bucks or whatever it is below 90-day GPA average, then it is an outlier on the other end of the spectrum. Now, in a bull market, in a strong market, in a hard market, those outlier can drag many prices up, okay? That's how the bull market work. We all know, all of us, most of us, it's, I think it's safe to say all of us like to, play, like to pay below GPA. It's human. How many people go buy a house and offer asking price? Regardless if the asking price is fair, right? Same thing, it, it, it's, you know, whenever I, I hear people talk about, I like to pay below GPA, I'm like, duh, duh, okay? Because it's, it's like saying, you know, I like bargains, it's, right? Is it even need to be said? If that's the case, if that's the case, where most of us is human, to want to buy and pay things, bargain. How is that that book, books go up? How is that that, how is it possible for book to break records and go to new high and keep going high for the past 10 years, excluding 2019? How is that possible? Because outliers drag things up, okay? There's always people in a hot market willing to go crazy, man up, overpaid by 10, 20%, whatever it is, because they got to have it. And by doing so, it's, it will require a few other people to follow the pack, okay? If nobody follow the pack and say, that's an outlier, I'm not gonna pay that crazy, stupid price. Well, guess what? Price will level out, but if 
the new price, the higher price is accepted by the market and multiple people follow, then there you go. Okay, and that's all it takes for the market to move higher and then so on and so forth. Now, a lot of time outliers can happen when a book is undergraded. Okay, for all of those that are in this hobby, there's always book that is undergraded and there's always savvy buyers that can can see that it's it, that the book is undergraded so they want to overbid or bid strong because you know they are all ready hot and bothered to press and resub and get a higher grade that factor also is a big contributor to outliers on the high end and so the fuel that drive up the books are often artificial. It's not because there are more demand for the book. Okay, this is one of the things that you know a lot of people don't want to admit is that a book can go up and up and up because of a lot of other factors like outliers, chaser, FOMO, a great potential, more so than it's because there are more people wanting that book in that grade. Okay, so that's how a bull market behave and how price are uh, drag up upward okay now that we have a bad 2019 outlier is like a double edged sword okay it cuts both ways now that we have a down market there's always people willing to sell quickly to sell low because they just want to get the F out for whatever reason whether they are over leveraged they had to sell quick to get the cash so they will sell things 10% 20% whatever it is to get out the market now if we have a, a level market and buyers look at those low prices as outlier and not gonna be willing to sell it that low and they want to maintain the price, then nothing happened. But just like in the opposite end, when people accept the higher price, if, if the future sellers and other sellers accept the lower prices and lower the prices of their copies to match that lower price, then that's the downward, that exacerbate the downward move. And then, of course, there's always more people willing to sell low just to get out quicker, right? So, outliers, keep your eyes out on outliers because in a down market, the low outliers can easily drag the market even lower. Okay, that's my opinion. I could be completely wrong, but, you know, I often pay attention to the outlier and see how the market react to it on the way up and the way down because that's how big moves happen okay that's how sharp move happen you know book don't just jump huge percentage because all of a sudden there is some kind of you know news not all the time there are there are reasons why some books you know have a big jump because there are news related but some other time, that's not the case. It is because they are an outlier and then people willing to pay the same price as that outlier. Same thing on the downside. So yeah, right now we have a down market in 2019, last year, and 2020 will be a year where we will find out if the market has bottom. okay? I got a lot of questions from people over the past three, four months. Is there a bottom? When is the bottom? Is this the bottom? It's in the stock market. Often, the bottom can be seen after when things are already level out and go up, okay? It's, it's predicting bottom is near impossible, okay? Even the best traders in the stock market will tell you it's, it's not an easy thing to do and most people if they get lucky and pick the bottom to buy, it's more luck 
then you know I know at this spot it is the bottom same thing with the comic book market I think it's very hard to sit here and say oh yeah 2020 will be the bottom you know we only gonna know if 2020 is the bottom at the end of 2020 when we see that the price has leveled out and go up okay so I'm not here to tell you that 2020 is the bottom. I don't know. There is no crystal ball anywhere in my room here. <laughs> so just keep your eyes out on outlier and how it can impact future prices because right now it is it plays a big part in the downdraft that we see so far. You know, the people that need to dump things quickly, that are willing to, to take lower prices exacerbate the downdraft on many many big books okay and that's my video thanks for watching bye bye